I hear you're very talented. Yes. He certainly isn't what you'd call shy. He's got a lot of confidence in himself. Andy, would you honor us with a song? Mom, are there any more people coming? No, Andy. A regular entertainer. Well, I think we're going to have another Eddie Cantor. A lot of confidence. Mr. Willingham, I think you could see better if you moved to that chair. Mrs. Davis, why don't you come up front? Mom, can you turn off the big light and just give me the lamp in the corner? Would you two be seated, please? Skaggs, I work alone. Hit it, Ma. immediately. I apologize. Are you through talking? Yes. Good. Don't I know you from someplace? Why aren't you taller and much older? Tell me, do you ever pick your nose? What? Well, what I mean is, I can't imagine anyone as pretty as you are ever picking your nose. I pick. I'd sure like to take you to dinner some night. Oh, well, this conversation has made me hungry. Why would you like to take me to dinner? Good food, good conversation, perhaps some premarital sex. What is this? Who are you? The one and only Andy Schmidt. Who are you? Ah, uh, the ever popular Mary Crawford. And totally unavailable. Your mother's still good looking. Yes, why? Because if I marry you, I don't want an old bag at age 46. <laughs> Have you ever seen me in anything, school play or anything? Ah, uh, no. I'm terrific. I've been taking acting classes since I was 12. I'm going to be a star or a fireman. Are you sure about being a star? Well, I have doubts. Thursdays. Look, I have to go to rehearsal. Where do you live? Ah, uh, the Kappa House. Uh, but I'm kind of going with someone. Oh, whoever it is, I like me better. I can't wait to kiss you. See ya. Don't worry if you're a virgin. Whatever goes on between us, I keep my mouth shut. Bebo! Bebo! Oh, for Christ's sake, will everyone just shut up? All right, now. Stop talking. Quiet! Shut up! Quiet! Shut up! Schmidt! You are the one who's talking. I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> now, people, this is your play. If you want to make it into a turd... Well, let's see a show of hands. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schmidt, do you want to be in this play? Oh, yes, I think this turd needs me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, one more word out of you, Schmidt, and you are out of this play. I will not have this. Do you understand? I'm sorry, Mr. Moses. I was just trying to keep the morale up. Well, Mr. Schmidt, since you're so anxious to perform, we'll run your scene right now. 
Oh, uh, have you memorized your line, Mr. Schmidt? Yes, sir. Good. Arnold, would you and your entourage be so good as to cue Mr. Schmidt? Perhaps then we can excuse him for his football practice. All right, uh, places, people, places. Let's go. Get to your places now. Get ready for your cue. Let's go. All right, let's hear the drums. My country, I fear, grows weary of me. My lord, may I speak? Hold it. Stop. Where does it say, may I speak? Sir, Mr. Moses, this man happens to be in charge of a very large country. A guard doesn't just go up and start talking. <laughs> Schmidt, just what is in the script. Don't push me, Schmidt. Hmm? Cue me again. My country, I fear, grows weary of me. My lord. Death would be an honor if death were serving you. <laughs> You're crying. Why are you crying? Here, I'm trying to show that the guys down at the guardhouse feel terrible for us. <laughs> it's something I've been working on at home. Schmidt, I don't want the guards to cry. How about hollow laughter showing frustration? Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> no laughs? No crying? I guess urinating on him is totally out of the question. <laughs> so, I have this degree in sociology, and, um, well, what do I do with it? Open a sociology store. Let's talk about me. You like yourself very much, don't you? I think I have great taste. Do people like you ever get married? I think your only chance is to get me before I'm successful. You're a lunatic. Lunatic? Lunatic? I don't think that's quite fair. I might be a little eccentric, perhaps. Hold all my calls, please. Lunatic is someone who is mentally disturbed. Uh, insane, perhaps. But in my case, I think I'm just your regular guy with regular quirks. I love carrots. I was a rabbit for several years. <laughs> Are you, uh, expecting any more calls? Isn't this fun? Later, there's a good chance we'll make love. Andy, hmm? this is the first date I've had with anyone but Paul in two years. I mean, I don't even know why I'm here. Mary, do you have any idea who I am? You? Quick, very quick, watch your tongue. I happen to be a big talent. I can sing, dance, act, tell jokes. I can imitate anyone. Paul's going to be a doctor. Paul's going to be a member of the audience. Everyone you ever meet, except me, is going to be a member of the audience. But on the side, he'll be a doctor. On the side, he'll have a nurse. I don't like this conversation, and I'm not sure that I like you. Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Getting to know you, getting to know what to say dum to dum to dum to dum i'm getting to like you putting it my way but nicely you are precisely my cup of tea <coughs> sir everything is delicious haven't you noticed suddenly i'm bright and breezy please not singing here. Well, excuse me, I, I didn't see the sign. But this is a restaurant. Please? Of course. Not only are you insane, but you're off key. But adorable, huh? Should Paul eat his heart out? Huh, he's a doctor. He can just cut it out. Everybody sing! Because of all the beautiful and new things I'm learning about you. You're singing again. Day by day. He's sorry, really. He's, uh, he's trying to seduce me, and uh, he's young. You must have been young once, before you made captain. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Would you like to go to a motel? We don't have to do anything. We could just swim. No. 
Well, in that case, you have the salad, I had the peas. With your share of the tip, you owe... Kids! Every one of you kids is like my own son to me. Win or lose today, I want each and every one of you to know how I feel. Like your father. That's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, we are playing a rough crew out there today. They're supposed to be faster. I read in the paper this morning they're faster than we are. Are they? No! We've got some fast guys! Schmidt, answer with the rest of the team, will you please? Check. Some say they're bigger. Well, maybe they are. No! <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought we were all gonna say no again. Oh, God. Please continue. Oh, thank you, Mr. <laughs> well, some of them are bigger. But I always say the team that wants to win the most is the team that wins the most. Now, God damn it, who wants this game more? We do! All right, now. You're all my sons. Now, go on out there and win this one for your father. I want to stomp their asses! I want to kill those bastards! I'm up! Well, you sit on your asshole, you probably won't even get in the game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now let's go out there and win this one. Get rid of the spirit. Move it, hustle, hustle. Let's go. Move it out there. Let's go. Let's show them. Hustle, hustle, coach. Get out there. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Get your ass out there. Coach, that Ferguson's a killer. He's tearing everybody apart in there. Hey, Schmidt! Schmidt! Come here. Yes. We need someone to stop Ferguson. Right. It's gotta be stopped. How about Jones? Nobody likes him. God damn it, Schmidt, you get in there. You play Ferguson. Schmidt, put your helmet on. My helmet! My helmet! I'm in! I'm in! Sure. Now playing guard for Ohio Southern, Schmidt, number 33. your pardon, both of my hands are around you. Excuse me, it was my hand. You even make jokes when you're kissing. Well, sure, why shouldn't necking be fun? Even faking a football injury is fun, huh? And scaring me half to death? I wasn't faking, I was acting. That was a great performance. Did you see that, audience? Did they love me? Are you acting all the time? How about when you're kissing me? Is, is that acting? Is this conversation a part of the act? Who the hell are you, really? Mary, listen to me. 
What's inside me is too strong to control. Is it too strong or are you too weak? Who do you think you are criticizing me? What I am is great. I know it, and you're afraid of it. You better be great. You're the most insecure person I've ever met. Get out. Get in, you're acting like a child. Mary, I'm under a lot of pressure. I just wanted to talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm the wrong person. You need help. Do me a favor. And don't ever try to take me out again. You're only fun as a stranger. Get out. If I get out, I'm not going to get back in. I'll take that chance. I need a, a middle-class broad like you holding me back? You can tell your kids you once dated a star. Car trouble? No. I'm an enormously talented young actor. I sing, I dance, I do impersonations, and she wants to be with some doctor. When we're not getting along, I threw her out of the car, but I, I can't leave her here. You don't have car trouble? No. I'm headed for New York as soon as this school year is over. I'm talking about Broadway. I have offers, you know. Ah, uh, could you take me back to the campus? Uh, he's nuts. You see what I mean? Why am I with her? I thought she was different. Ah, uh, could you just keep quiet? Typical. I'll drive you to the campus. Harold, this could be dangerous. No, just boring. Get in. Yeah, I'll say goodnight here. There you go. Drive safely. Sure. Okay. Bye bye. I'll call you. Does that sound like Harry James? No. Andy. Yeah. Did you see the school paper today? Was my name mentioned? No. Forget it. I guess you don't know that Mary Crawford got engaged to Paul Harris last night. No, I didn't see that. Gosh, I'm so happy for her. I'm sorry, Andy. Eddie, where am I going? Broadway. What am I going to be? A star. Do I need her? <laughs> no. I love her, you asshole. Mary, I'm so happy. I'm glad now that we decided to wait to, uh, uh, you know. Paul, why don't we just go out tonight and get drunk? Just be funny and crazy with each other. I mean, we'll never be as young as we are tonight. Yes, it would be a lot of fun. I have classes tomorrow morning starting at 8 o'clock, and you don't drink. That's another thing I'm waiting to do. Mary! Oh, Christ. I have to talk to you. Uh, pardon me, I don't think I know you. I'm Andy. Are you Paul? Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, what's so funny? Ah, uh, he thinks everything's funny. He's crazy. He's the doctor. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Um, I just expected more from the way she described you. No offense. I'm Mary. Who is this? I told you I'm Andy. I'm her lover. You must be the boyfriend. I can't tell you how relieved I am that you turned out. 
like this. Now, look, fella, I, I can take a joke just as well as the next guy. Ah, uh, Andy, yeah. Paul and I just got engaged. I heard. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. We're still going to spend the weekends together, though, aren't we? Yeah. Don't worry. It's only physical. Now, look. Am I making you angry? Puff once if it's yes. Mary, uh, please, would Paul, you... Oh, I'll call you tomorrow. Andy, uh, Andy, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Mary. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Uh, just a minute, you. Yeah. You! You, you, you put him up. I don't want to put him up. Why? Because I'm chicken, that's why. <laughs> Please will be here soon. Yeah. I really like you, you son of a gun. Yeah, I guess you do. You'll probably be expelled for this. I was upset. My girl got engaged to a pipe. Yeah, they'll be satisfied with that. Is that your mother and father? Yes, they'd hate you. I know. What's his name? Willie. Do you love him? Only when it rains, otherwise I throw him on the floor. I'm afraid of the rain and thunder and lightning and most everything else. God, I wish you were sane. If I was sane, would I be in this room? If we got married when it wasn't raining, would you throw me on the floor? No. If we got married, I'd always be scared. Your mother and father nuts? No. They were killed in a car crash when I was 12. Don't say you're sorry. Okay. But I am sorry. What if I told you I was driving the other car? I'd say you're so very sad. And so very funny. Which I happen to love. Everybody, I want plenty of energy tonight. Remember, I want it from everybody. Oh, Schmidt. Well, I see they let you out of jail. How did you like it? I think it's very nice that criminals have a place to go. Yes, I'm surprised they didn't expel you. They don't expel you for being in love. My country, I fear, grows weary of me.
first I kill him at the play, and now this. Mm, mm, mm. Every night I go to bed and pray that I won't be in love with you the next day. Did you know that? Sure, God told me. Forget it, you're hooked. Yeah, I guess we're both in love with the same person. Now, isn't that wonderful? It's terrific. Andy, mm. have you ever noticed that you've never said that you love me? I came to this motel with you. What do you want? You're not laughing. Of course I love you, you old son of a gun. As much as you love yourself? Well, in a different way. It's apples and oranges. You don't laugh much when you're naked, do you? I feel undressed when I'm naked. I see. Mary, I was great on stage tonight. I was, wasn't I? Yes, you were great. You almost ruined the play, but, uh, you were great. Did you hear that crowd? That's what it's all about, getting that crowd to love you. They didn't want to see that lousy play. They wanted to laugh. Mary, I can make them laugh. I can make them laugh. I can make them do anything I want. You'll never know how that feels. What about the play you almost ruined? In a month, we'll be in New York. We'll? We'll get married, okay? Okay. There's Broadway, movies, television. I'll bet I'll be working two weeks after we get to New York. Mary will be great. If I told you I love you... Oh, God. Why him? You mom. Uh, okay. Mom. And you must be dad. Dad. It's nice to meet you. Uh, you can call me Tom. Tom and mom. I really like that. I really do. And you must be brother, huh? Huh? Uh, yes, Andy. This is uh, my brother Sherman. Sherman. Really? Sherman? <laughs> I had a hamster named Sherman. <laughs> Sherman was my father's name. May he rest in peace. Oh, of course, of course. Death is such a terrible tragedy. I mean, my Sherman died, too. I don't mean to compare the two. I... Uh, well, you were a little late, so dinner is ready. Mom? Tom? Let's eat. What's on? Let's put our cards on the table. You look at me and you wonder, what kind of life is your daughter going to lead? Hmm? Yes, that's right. To be blunt. Yes, let's be blunt. Let's bring it out. Let's talk about it. Now, you're worried that Mary is going to end up starving in some rat-infested garret in New York. Or turning to alcohol. Or possibly prostitution. Uh, Andy. Yeah? We don't even think things like that. Mom, you don't have to because your daughter is marrying a person who is going to take very good care of her. I happen to be wonderfully gifted. Watch this. Excuse me. You dirty, dirty rat. You got my sister. You got my mother. That's great. Wait till I'm finished, Sherman. First starting to get dogs right in the middle of my act. Where was I? You got my mother. Thanks. You got my mother, but you ain't gonna get me. Top of the world, Ma. Ma, oh. They got me. Uh, 
Andy, uh, if we could just, you know, please eat now. You sounded just like him. Here, watch this, Ma. Watch this. You're gonna love it. Those eyes. They keep winking and blinking. Peter Lorre. Good, Sherman. Winking and blinking. I have to kill myself. That's what I must do. Ah! Sorry. Don't worry about it. I mean, you know, it's only my mother and father. Are we still getting married? We have to. I'm too embarrassed to have you as a date. and open. A lot of people break it. This is perfect. This is where it'll all start. Andy Schmidt's my name. Oh? My name is uh, Dominic Manza. Ah, uh, the reason he told you his name is because he's going to be a big star in this town. I'm pleased. Uh, the bathroom's down the hall. You'll be sharing it with five other stars. Great. Dom? Thank you. Why don't you go buy yourself a cigar? Bye-bye. Times Square, Saudis, Lindy's, we're close to all of them. Oh, is this my town? Is, is this my town? Do I love it? I love it. I love New York. Me too. Oh, me too. I know that you're scared now, but just wait. Trust me. Yeah. Let's eat in New York. Huh? Oh, my God, Saudis. No, 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 Sardis. All the great actors eating Sardis. Looks very expensive, Andy. We should definitely eat in there. Hold it! <laughs> Captain will take your order, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jack! Hi, Martin. Did you know that Jack was here? Susie. Love you. You don't know anyone. They don't know that. Hi, Mildred. <laughs> Andy, um... Why don't we just order a piece of cake and some coffee? I mean, we only have $600 to our name. Do you know that we are sitting right under Eddie Cantor's picture? Someday, I know. some kid from Ohio will be sitting right here. I know. You know, all those years when I daydreamed by myself, so much better with you. Because now, when I stop daydreaming, I'm not by myself. Oh, we're terrific. My problems are your problems now. I love that. What about my problems? Oh, for the first 20 years, we'll do my problems. I have to go to the bathroom. Remember that. The first time I peed in New York City was at Sardi's. That's great for the biography. Barry, good to see you again. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Mom, I told you not to call me here. Mom, I'm fine. 
I want you to stop saying that. Uh, Mr. Schmidt, is that a personal call? Oh, no. No, it isn't. Mom, I can't talk now. Six months is nothing to get a job as an actor. No, Andy never gets discouraged. Mom, stop crying. Mom, please stop crying. I'm very happy. Oh, Mom. Um, Mr. Schmidt, is that a personal call? No. Could I, could I just have some privacy? The woman's crying. To me, that's personal. Mom, please, don't worry. We're fine. I love him, you know? Are you asleep? No. You sure? I'm positive. I wouldn't dream this. Yeah. Isn't it great? We're young, we're starving, we're living in filth. I never read about anyone that made it that didn't have this first. It's very nice. How long does it usually last? You're scared, huh? Who, me? See that I'm so close to so many jobs. It's just a matter of days. Oh. What are you scared of? That I'll lose you. Never. But never. Huh? I'm also scared that I'll stay with you. <laughs> and I'm pregnant. With a kid? Yep. Oh, my God. Does it hurt? What? Right. Want me to get your chair? Less water? Andy. Yeah. Listen, I mean, it's going to be the most normal thing that you and I have ever done. Hello. May I help you? Bonjour. No. I am Roberto Capellini. I've come here to see Michael Schuyler, you know? Now, we must do it very rapidly, please, because I must catch a plane to Roma, eh? Subito, subito. Uh, yes. Uh, Mr. Capellini, do you have an appointment? I dare you. I bite my thumb at you. Now, please, I have no time for this. You buzz the buzzer, uh, I go into the room. Here okay, I go. Okay. Uh, go uh, yes, wait just a moment, please. Lucy, is Mr. Schuyler expecting a Mr. Capellini? No one expects me. When I walk into their office, how, how do they say in your country? Uh, they are overjoyed. I'm very sorry. He's in a meeting. He will not see the great Roberto Capellini? Then will he see Andy Schmidt, the one and only? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Funny, huh? Look, I'm a very talented actor, except that I'm starving. <laughs> my pants don't fit anymore. I call Michael Schuyler about 20 times a day. He's always in a meeting. Look, I'll see what I can do. Yes! Thanks. His secretary's away from her desk. Oh, wait. Hi, Doris. Hi, Milton. I'd like to see Mike Schuyler, please. I take it you're on radio. Tell him where I hit. Don't mess with him. Milton, you need an appointment. You know I'd do anything I could for you. You feel anything? <laughs> oh, you actors. I have a coffee table at home that isn't dating anyone. You're getting me stinned. Let me try Mr. Schuyler's office. Again. Yeah, and remember who came here first. You know, you're the spitting image of my cousin. He's almost totally trained. Mr. Schuyler can't see either of you today. Mm. Thanks a lot. Hey! You 
You want a cup of coffee? Who's talking? Oh. We'll get to know each other. You're funny. I'm sorry about the short jokes. Thank you. I'm very sensitive, actually. There's a lot more to me than being a midget. Where is it? I'm sorry, uh... Let's have that cup of coffee, Milton. I'm on to some very big things. Josh Logan? Call me up. Uh, Kazan likes me very much. It's all gonna happen in a matter of days. My career is in a shit I was too. You're very perceptive. I'm a very good actor. All I need is a break. Well, maybe someday they'll do death of a short salesman. Don't get sensitive. I'm starving, too. You have to be crazy to be in this business. You know, sometimes I think, why do I have to be so talented? You? I always think that. I mean, why couldn't I be a barber, huh? Why couldn't I be a dentist? No, I've got to be incredibly gifted. It's a curse. You? What about me? You think my wife wants this? Do you know what it's like to love a woman and hurt her every day? Oh, sure. I've got a million of them. She is so... great. They're all great. This one's greater. She laughs at the right times. You know what I mean? And I have her living in some crappy hotel room. It's not fair. I'm the one who can't get a job. Life is shit. Huh. Want another cup of coffee? No, I've got to go soon. Where? In the middle of the afternoon? You got a girl? No, not until five. And then possibly at eight. I get laid an amazing amount of times. In audition. Milton, if this work, if it's a part, I can play short. I gotta see a guy about wrestling. I wrestle sometimes. You wrestle? Really? I'm a novelty. God, what people won't do in this business. It's not so bad. You make a couple of bucks. You get to dress up in all kind of crazy costume. The crowd's gone nuts. You get to dress up in crazy costumes and the crowd goes nuts? Forget it. You're too little. How does that feel? Hello, Milton. Who are you? And I'm thrilled. What do you want, Milton? I'm busy. Sydney, I just passed by to see... Look, jerk, I told you I'd call you if I got your match. Why is it every time I look at you, I want a shrimp cocktail? No offense. Go stand in the wastebasket. Who are you? A non-talking schmuck walks in with a midget. Andy Schmidt. Who cares? I... You're too little. We got ushers bigger than you. Leave. I gotta take a crap. Uh, actually, I'm an actor. I can do anything. Can you walk out of here? You know you're not a bad-looking kid? You're Fagler? I uh, know. I got a kid at home. You mentioned Fagler's a real fruitcake, this kid. We wanted a boy. We came close. I love him like a daughter, this kid. So you want to wrestle, huh? Sidney, it could be fantastic. It's funny. Look at this. Sneezy has an opinion. Milton, when I want to hear from you, I'll look down. You could mail him to St. Louis for under a dollar. You got a nice face, kid. Grandmother's like a nice face. I'm sorry about your body. Milton, hit me in the stomach. That's not where he hits. Watch this. I want to show you something. Hit. Come on. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Mm -hmm. You see what a good actor can do with pain. So far, you're doing constipation. I'll say this for you. You're crazy enough. He could be like David fighting Goliath. Great idea, Milton. <laughs> Why don't you take three months off and change a light bulb? I've been doing David and Goliath for 20 years. I'm up to my ass in slingshots. Yeah. Maybe I'll think of something for you. You're not a bad-looking kid. Have you ever wrestled before? Lie. Yes, uh, in college, intramural. That's in enough. I could teach him. You do that, Milton. You're still getting laid six times a day? I do my best. <laughs> If his legs were as big as his schlong, he'd be playing basketball. Leave me your number, Schmidt. I'll call you. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. You sure you're not a fake of it? Uh, I'm, I'm sure. My son, talk about fruits. I bought him a football and he decorated it. Get out of my office. 32. 33. What is this sudden interest in exercising? You can never be in too good a shape for the theater. 39, 40, 41, 47. Hell with it, that's 50. Oh, I hope the baby looks like me. 
No offense. <laughs> Andy? Mm -hmm. Um, I've got something to tell you. Yeah. I, um, I spoke to my father today. And, um, well... Mary, I can't see my body. Oh. Thanks. I spoke to my father and I asked him to, um... To send us a little money, you know, just to, you just do that? to tide us over. That makes me furious. Could I see your furious look, please? You don't think I can support this family? Of course I do. It's just that, um, it's just that, you, you know, you never make any money. I mean, I used to give money to families like us. Very funny. Oh, Andy, look, I'm sorry. I know we're going to have lots of money. It's just with the baby coming and everything. I was going to surprise you. See, I've taken a part-time job. What kind of job? What kind of job? A very famous photographer asked me to assist him. Oh, won't well, that interfere with, you know, your interviewing for acting jobs? Oh, uh, he needs me at night, once, twice a week. Tops! <laughs> All right! Hey, <laughs> against you. <laughs> what the hell is that? He's a real Indian. He does not like white people. He knows not to really hurt me, doesn't he? Don't worry. Nobody gets hurt. Just remember, pain. Pain. Where's the Indian? If that son of a bitch didn't show up... He's in the John. Why can't he piss before he gets here? Schmidt! You okay? Pain. You look great. Are you kidding? There is a building in there taking a leak. Now, listen, Schmidt. You're good. He's bad. You're an actor. You act. Act good. OK? OK. Listen, uh, let me ask you a question. He knows not to really hurt me, doesn't he? <sighs> Don't worry. It's easier to do pain if you have some. How's the kid, Joe? Yeah. Great. OK, boys, five minutes. Sir? This is my first bout. <laughs> um, my wife is, is having a baby. Oh. I'm glad you understand. see anything dirty. No instruments. Don't start putting anything in his eye. Okay, I want to search you two fellas. Open your robe. your corners, take your robes off, and come out wrestling.
he know this is just for fun? He didn't show us a lot of pie. Okay. Ah! Ah! He's fighting me! He's fighting me! Good brain. Uh -huh. Is that you, Andrew? Hi. How was the photography? It's tough. <laughs> I missed you. Yeah. Go to sleep, sweetheart. Rub my back, will you? Oh, I'm so tired. by an Indian. I'll explain the whole thing tomorrow. You're going to explain tomorrow that you were beaten by an Indian? No, thanks. You'll tell me now. I mean, should you be in a hospital? The hospital released me. See, it's not as bad as it looks. Just forget you saw me. Andy, tell me what happened. Oh, please, tomorrow. I'll hug you. I'll talk. I'll talk. I'm talking. Uh, Mr. Schmidt, you can... Uh... Read the priest. Agatha, you read Christie. Knock, knock, knock. Uh, we understand that there's no door there, Mr. Schmidt. Oh, there is to me, sir. I'm an actor. As a matter of fact, it needs a pay job. Uh, would you read already? Father, I must speak to you about my husband. I know I shouldn't, but I must. Yes, my child. I will try to help. But understand, this is no spiritual first aid station. I know that you... Spiritual can't. first aid station? Uh, that's not in the script. No, it is not. But I see this man as a street priest. You know what I mean? I say, let's let him live. Uh, I think that I can make him into a man and a priest. As a matter of fact, in the third act, I think he should start to drink. Perhaps slug a bishop. I think we should go all the way with this. Uh, the author is sitting right here. He doesn't feel that way. I love your place, sir. Very good work. Very, very nice. But uh, even Shakespeare had to rewrite. Uh, thank you, but get off the stage. I could be wrong. That's all, Schmidt. Agatha will call you. Do you have my number? Oh, yes, Schmidt. We have your number. Hi. Sydney, I need help. You need help. There's not a restroom in the country that'll accept my son. Yeah, um... I need money. Yeah, my wife is pregnant. Boy or girl, I got hand-me-downs for you. I have to wrestle again. Twenty bucks, just like before. Sydney, I'm not talking about twenty bucks. I'm talking about an idea. What if I tell you that I have a guaranteed moneymaker? 
Then I'd make money guaranteed. What about me? First, let's hear your idea, then we'll talk. You actors are all the same. What's your idea? And in this corner, Dr. Andrew Weisel. Good thing about Dr. Weisel, don't try any of your powers here tonight. What powers? And I want no gouging, and I want no kick. It's a hypnotist! It's not fair! He should be I got all the stars in that book. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you want Cary Grant? Yeah. Now you got it. Get out of here. Well, Uncle Sid, you did OK out there, kid. Did you hear what that man said? He has all the stars in that book. All the stars. I told you he would be fantastic. Yes, you did, Milton. We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh, Mary. Hi, Mom. Hi, Daddy. Mary. Let me look at you. <laughs> oh, it won't be long now. You look wonderful. Well, I, I've never felt better. Oh, thank you. Is this your uh, total living area? Ah, uh, yes. Well, you see, we really don't need that much room until the baby comes. Well, why don't you two just sit down? Andy will be right back. He just went down the street to pick up some food. He's really so excited about seeing you. Mary. Oh, Mom, I'm fine, really. We want you to be happy, that's all. You can have your New York. Everybody's got his hand out. The big cities frighten me. Everyone's a stranger. But you and Andy are young. Well, I used to get frightened. Sometimes I miss home, but uh, really, uh, New York is fun when you live here. Not for me. <clears throat> uh, how is Andy? Oh, fine. I'm just fine. He's uh, taken some other jobs while he looks for work as an actor. How is Sherman? The, what kind of jobs? He wrestles. Dad, would you like some coffee? What did you say? What? She said... He wrestles. Wrestles? Uh, what do you mean? I mean, he wrestles. Dear God. Nobody wrestles. You mean they pay him to wrestle? Hi. Mom. Tom, welcome to New York. 
Mary just told us that you're wrestling. Yeah. We're thrilled to hear that you finally found a profession. It's only temporary, Tom. I'm on to some really major things. We've heard that before. <laughs> How supportive of you. Is he always this much fun at home, huh? Now look, young man. Yeah, yes, sir. Ah, uh, please, I am pregnant. I mean, couldn't we just all try and get along? Yeah, you know, Mary, you're right. Mary is right. Tom, we shouldn't fight all the time. I'm going to make a concentrated effort, huh? Hello, Sydney. You're downstairs. You're all downstairs. No, 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 if it's such a big deal, come on up. No, nobody's here. Just a figure of speech, Tom. Right, Sydney. okay. Some of my business associates are coming up. Who are these people? Uh, I don't know. I've never met any of the people Andy works with. Uh, well, should I set some more places? Do we have enough food? Mom, it's just a small business meeting. Don't worry yourself. You're gonna really like these guys. Where's the crap? Uh, down the hall. Oh, my dear God. You live here? I didn't know you could rent a room here for more than an hour. I'll meet everybody when I get out of the crapper. Oh, come on in. Come on in. <laughs> Milton Miller and the Elephant, I want you to meet my wife, Mary, and her parents, the Crawfords. This one's the Elephant. Well, hello. Well, would you like to sit down? Maybe you'd like something to eat. I think we have enough. Oh, we ate. You have nice eyes. <laughs> Thank you. Milton. Do you two, um, uh, wrestle? Oh, yeah. Uh, but not each other. I'm too big. <laughs> well, let's sit down, shall we? So, uh, why do I have to talk to Sydney this afternoon? Oh, good news. He'll tell you when he gets out of the bathroom. Uh, he has bowel movement troubles. Uh, oh. You like New York? Yes, uh, we're from Ohio. <laughs> there are things you can get here that you cannot get anywhere else. Milton is also an actor. How long are you going to be in town? Just today. That's enough. I'm Sidney Seltzer. Yeah, Sidney, uh, let me introduce you to my wife, Mary, and her mother and father, Mr. and Mrs. Crawford. They're from Ohio. That's exciting. Kid, you got a minute? Something big has come up. Oh, sure, we can go in the hallway. Jesus, this is place a dump. Nice meeting you. If you're ever in New York, give me a call. Uh, excuse me. Uh, do you have anything more crispy, uh, like peanuts? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, what do you do for a living? Insurance. Insurance? You know Gorilla Gottlieb? I'm afraid not. Oh. Gorilla was his wrestler name. Phil is his insurance name. He sells insurance, too. That's interesting. Insurance must be easy. Gorilla was not real smart. Fact is, he's one of the dumbest guys I ever met. Uh, I don't mean to incur that you are dumb, too. Mom, what's the matter? I want to go home. I want to go home. Oh. 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 Muriel, what's the matter? Okay, so Milton made a pass at your mother. And Sydney offered me a tour. But first of all, I'm not taking the tour because I wouldn't leave you. And I'll talk to Milton about his taste. It's all so ugly. Honey, those are the guys in wrestling. I'm through with that. 
No, you're not. You want the circus. You want the freaks. You'll take the ugliness. The freaks like you. Mary, I had to make some goddamn money. Do you mind? Yes. Whoever this is, I wanted to be able to stand the craziness out there by knowing that when it comes back to us, it's nice, it's normal, it's home. Milton happens to be a very nice person. He can't be respectable. He's too short. Now stop being such a goddamn snob. You'll wind up in some small town with a picture of Jesus on the wall. I'm going home. Put one thing in that suitcase, we get a divorce. That's good, you little bitch. It gets hot and you gotta take a powder. do around here please stop packing I am through with wrestling and if I don't get an acting job in three months I'll get a regular job and I love you. on the floor to make you feel much better. Thank God all we have is junk. I mean, rich people can't do this, you know. So I told my wife that I wouldn't go. I can't take the tour. Kid, you got a nice wife. I know that. How does she know what goes on inside somebody like you? The two kind of people, kid. They kind of put lampshades on lamps, and they kind of put lampshades on their heads. She wants to be married. You want to dress up like a cowboy and make fun. Sidney, would you look from my point of view? Look, you look. No. I'm in the business of crazy. I know crazy when I see it. That's you, kid. You don't want to dance unless your mother's watching. Take the tour. Sidney, I am an actor. Oh, yeah? Then how come you're not acting? So? They let ten actors act. Don't the rest of them drink coffee and grow pimples. And I have to proposition my son. I can't take the tour. Maybe you'll grow out of it, the little faggot. Sydney! Take the tour. No, I don't want to take the tour. But you're a very nice guy. I'm a bloodsucker. You're good and I want you. We leave tomorrow morning. If you change your mind, call me. We'll play to over a million people. You know, I 
used to think that all talented people were in show business. I was wrong. Boy, are you talented. One more time, and I'm gonna kill you. That's what I hit. Hello, Mary. Now, I'm fine. I'm in Des Moines, Iowa. Yeah. No, I... Mary... Mary, I'm just trying to earn a living like anybody else. was having the babies. Did you ever go somewhere else and wrestle? No. God damn right, no. Just, just take the rest of the week off, OK? Just take the rest of the week off and be with your wife. Wife is someone that you're not supposed to leave from. In Kansas City with a dwarf and a drunk. I wish I could love somebody the way you love Mary. Um. Don't love anybody. Not in this business. The circus came to town. You know what that means? Huh? It means a circus left another town. You would have made a great midget. You're sad enough. Everything I want louses up every other thing I want. Understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. Look at this. The midget understands. You two ain't any smarter or sadder here than you were in New York. I'm going to my room. By the way, you don't get what you want, you get what you deserve. Go to sleep. Nobody ever said anything in Kansas City that was important. I've always wanted people I don't even know to love me. I don't even like the people I want to love me. All those dopes. Quit the two. Go home. Let the dopes love somebody else. That's what freaks are for. You're not a freak. I was hoping to find you here. I saw you wrestle tonight. Hi. Uh, hi. You're sexy and <laughs> I'm drunk. Perfect. What's your name? Arlene. 
Arlene. <laughs> Are you ready to do things tonight that you never dreamed were possible? I am ready for anything. I hope so. Arlene. Uh-huh. This is Milton. Milton, handle this. It's me, Errol Flynn. Why did you break the window? Hi. Because you didn't hear the pebbles. Hi. Why didn't you ring the front doorbell? Because I wanted some time alone with you without the whole family around. How are you? Is that your stomach? Yes, I look terrible. Are you home for good? Yeah. I missed you an awful lot, Andy. Maybe I should come in the house now. Uh, yes, I'll come down and let you in. Good. Uh, Andy. Yeah? Listen, when I get to the front door, you will be there, won't you? Because, I mean, if this is a dream, I will never forgive you. OK. Andy. Yeah? I'm not going to touch my hair or anything. So when you see me, just know that I only look like this because it's at night, and you're not around, and I'm pregnant. I mean, otherwise, I am really gorgeous, OK? OK. Okay, Andy? Yeah? Are you as excited as I am? Will you open the goddamn door? I feel dumb down here without a guitar. Say the word love. Love. Everywhere I went, people said that word. It only sounds right when you say it. I just want to apologize for all the trouble that I've caused you. I'll be here in the morning when you wake up and you'll see that I've changed. I can't undo what I've already done. Oh, but I'm ready to make a new start. Go back to sleep. He's your son. Yeah. He just did James Cagney wedding. Oh, my God. Look at him. What's his name? Well, we have to name him. Oh, yeah. But he's, he's got ten little fingers. He's got a nose and a mouth and two eyes and two ears. Can I? Oh, sure. Okay. Come on. Come on. Yes, hello. Hello. Yeah. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. I could be in Yankee Stadium and play in front of 80,000 people. I'd never be as happy as I am now. Good. Just some toast. No, Mom, coffee is fine. I have to be downtown in 20 minutes. You know, Andrew, Tom would kill me if he knew I told you this, but he said that you have the potential to be one of his best salesmen. Ah, well, I'm learning a lot from him. Andy, I thought you might be interested in this. We're starting a community theater. 
Why would I be interested in that? Well, they would love having you, and you'd be in front of people. Sweetheart, I'm in front of the people I want to be in front of right now. Mm. Mom? <laughs> I've never seen a change in a boy like that. Yeah. Sure happened fast. That's an old cowboy, but I don't believe him. This guy is funny. Did you ever meet him? No. I like Milton Berle. He's so funny. What the hey? What the hey? Did you ever meet him? No. Or Jerry Lester? No. I never got a chance to meet anybody. I was in the business for 30 seconds. <laughs> Could we just watch? Why does everyone have to talk? What's the matter with you, honey? Mary's just tired, Andy. You know, this television is really something. We used to do all our advertising in print. But now with one commercial on local TV, we can reach 80,000 homes. That makes your job a lot easier, Andy. Mm -hmm. There's a great Western on Channel 5. Hey, Andy, look. They have wrestling on TV every week now. It's really great. Sherman, could you just turn on your goddamn Western? Mary, you all right? I'm going to bed. For Christ's sake, Mary, what's bothering you? A telegram came to you today. A telegram? Gee, I hope my parents didn't die again. Where is it? I burned it. Your wife? It said there was a spot for you to wrestle on national television. It came from Sidney Seltzer. I don't want uh, any part of that. Right. The minute you leave, I'm divorcing you. Mary? I'm not leaving. Please stay. Have a nice day, Andy. Yeah, see you all tonight. You forgot to pack this. I was going to call you, Mary. Stop sneaking out of town, Andy. Goodbye. Andy? I... Mom, shut up! He knows what he's doing. My lawyer will contact your lawyer, or whatever people do. I just thought in a couple of weeks, I would... Not this time. Hurry up, you'll miss your train. I have to do this, Mary. Andy. Mom, stay out of it. Get out! This is Dennis James at ringside. There's something going on here tonight. You can feel it in your bones. Actually, you can cut it with a knife. The great Buddy Gibson is already in the ring, and he's waiting. And as you can tell, thousands of people here in Madison Square Garden, they're waiting. And the millions of you folks watching this first television hookup of wrestling, we're waiting for, well, as a matter of fact, I don't know what we're waiting for. Let me read to you from the avalanche of publicity we've been bombarded with over the past three weeks. Hear this. He was and is the wrestling champion of the world by divine right. Oh, that's what it says here, folks. Uh, also, he uh, hates violence. He came close to killing five men because he hates violence. He's a lover of all human beings, hence his name, The Lover. Now, The Lover, what does The Lover do? He kills you with love is what he does. This crowd is getting restless here in Madison Square Garden. And speaking of this crowd, it's more like the crowd for a Broadway opening night than for a wrestling match. Look around, you can count the tuxedos and count the stars. There is something definitely going on here tonight. There's a chant of the hands. Let's see what's going to happen.
Thank you. You folks just tuned in. This is not Queen for a day. This is wrestling from Madison Square Garden, believe it or not. And this is what the well-dressed wrestler will wear this year. spraying whether he's got a bug killer there Flynn or whether that's his own personal cologne but whatever it is he's delighting this crowd I'll tell you that Quite charisma, this boy. He's got a lot of charisma. That's the lover and very agile again back into the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Two out of three falls. One hour time limit for the championship of the world. And your main event referee, former great U.S. champion, Count Billy Varga. The great undefeated world's champion, Buddy Gibson. And his opponent on my right, appearing in America for the first time, self-proclaimed by divine right as a wrestling champion of the world, the why they call him the lover.
Say it again. I want to hear it again. You're a star. Milton, you say it. I want to hear it with an accent. You're a star. Get your ass out here. Tom Seagull. Oh, how do I look? Unfortunately, like my son. Thank you. <laughs> Here's to you, kid. Thank you. This is worth millions. <laughs> oh, God, I feel tall. <laughs> Here's to your new height. <laughs> you got everything now, kid. Almost everything. Okay, let's go. You're not mad? Are you kidding? Put down the kid. You miss me? I missed you. I did. Come here. Yeah. That's for leaving town like a bank robber. And that's for being such an asshole to your wife. Right, hold it, hold it, hold it up. I don't think that violence is such a good thing for a child to witness. Huh? Shut up and take those ridiculous clothes off and that stupid wig. You're with your wife now. All right, here are the rules. You do what you have to do. We'll have the midgets to dinner. We'll have the Indians over for drinks. But when you and I are alone, you're you and I'm me, and Andrew gets to watch two people in love love each other. It'll be good for him. Take off those stupid pants. Well, I have to feel the part all the way down. <laughs> Come here, lover. If there are panties under there, I'm going back to Ohio. When you're someone's one and only And she says that she's nothing Without you When at last you know Where you belong Then you're one of the chosen few Yes, you're one of the chosen See? 